Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gamer Donnie channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie and we're going to play Make the Truck Simulator. Today we're going from Rollins to Gillette in Wyoming. It is 225 miles, takes about four hours, four and a half hours to get there. Uh, we got a load of flour, 48,502 pounds of flour. We're in the Don Rudis Peterbilt. 389 glider, We've got the Detroit 360 by Z Mods, 18 speed, and this is John Ruda's uh, Reaper trailer. So let's jump in here and start heading down the road. I'm gonna push the right button. Time to hit the road. All right, let's see if we can get out of this place. Actually, looks like we can go out right over here. Finding a new route. That's good to me. Get ready to turn right. Let's see, we got a little over half tank of fuel. That should get us there. How's everybody been doing out there? You guys doing pretty good? Things going good on my end. Then they got a lot of new updates that are going to be coming out. We got the new Western Star. We got uh, Oklahoma. We got Kansas. They're redoing some of the cities in Texas. They're redoing some cities in California. There's supposed to be new loads coming out too with Oklahoma. So it could be pretty interesting. At some point, we're going to take another ride through California to see what all they changed and what they've added and stuff. We're already using Project Next Gen's 1.08 patch. Mod, I guess you call it. Honestly, ever since I up updated on. it from 1.07, I've got a hell, a hell of a difference in the frame rate. I'm getting a lot more now than what I was so like right now we're getting about 50 frames per second it jumps between 50 and 60 plus um, before I'd get maybe like 35 if that so And I got rid of a bunch of traffic mods. Those traffic mods, I've never had any luck with traffic mods. They've always just made the game run crappy, so. I removed all the traffic mods. And it does run better. Right now I'm running in 4K. Got everything set on high. Everything's over scaling. The scaling's at 300 instead of 400. 
and it's running pretty good which before I could only run it like on 2k uh, 1440 and still get a bad frame rate so Continue straight on. Go straight on. Let's see what time is it. Um, nine forty-nine. Make sure I didn't have nothing unnecessary crap running in the background, like a web browser or anything like that. I like this new version of Project Next Gens too. It looks pretty damn good with the lighting. They changed it. The textures are a lot of them to 8K textures now instead of 4K, which makes a big difference. It was only two dollars to upgrade it from uh, 1.07 to 1.08. Well, two euros, which is like two dollars twenty five cents. So if you just buy it all together, you're probably going to pay about twenty five bucks for it because you got to have the road texture pack too now, so that's like five bucks, and then the base is twenty. Personally, I like it a lot better than uh, JBX, but that's just my my opinion on it. And all together with all the truck mods and trailer mods and everything, I probably spent Add all the Z mod sound mods into it, probably about 300, a little over 300 dollars with the mods. Well, 
get over in the left lane it looks like yeah nope go there and get us some donuts. with a gamer Donnie and American Truck Simulator. say 80 miles per hour there you go truck almost 8,000 miles needs a different differential in it bring that top speed up a little bit a little lower diff Seventy five is a good speed. Anything over that we're just wasting fuel really. Damn anti-collision. Let's 
when you get too close to a car cuts you off like that or you get too close to one and it automatically slow down Sheridan Hoping sometime this week to buy my new hard drive and a uh, head tracker, track IR. SSD drive. They run a lot faster than regular old hard hard drives. I should make it load faster and run a little bit better. Keep right and then exit right. That's about all I got left to upgrade on this computer really. Everything else is pretty updated. I mean, I could add more RAM. I could have up to uh, one, one terabyte of RAM. But Keep left and I'm happy with what back. I got now. Turn left. The only reason I would upgrade the RAM really would be. If I start in recording in a uh, higher definition. And doing more 3D modeling and stuff. As far as gaming goes, games don't really use too much uh, of your RAM. I mean, some do, but mostly. Keep right and keep right. And then turn right. There's a FCK. Really shouldn't be shifting going around curves like that or turns, but it's a bad habit. We gonna go or not? I'm coming over then. I had more than enough chance to get around go me. Straight on. Oh yeah, we don't need to turn there, it'll be the next one. Right there. 
be this one right up here. We'll do a left turn on. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Ready to turn left. Turn left. It's like we're going to the rail yard. Could do a back it in. Get up over that speed bump. Right there she is. So we can get to it, we'll angle it off about a five degrees or so, and we'll cut it back. I like that. It should get us get us in there. Let's roll the window down. We can sound a turbo on it. Sorry, my mouse is all screwed up. I like to jump around. Sure we're not going to hit anything over there. Look clear. Start cutting it back in. And get back underneath it. Just a little. There we go. Should do us good. A little bit too far to the driver's side there but that's all right well, 225 miles five hours 11 minutes 46 gallons of fuel burnt ten thousand two hundred thirty five dollars made we're level 39 and a half almost half we're close enough so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to don't forget to like subscribe share Leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.